schools across the nation closed this morning due to the pandemic. Parents are launching a big experiment working from home with their kids. Stephanie Ramos has tips on how to handle parenting while you're working. Stephanie joins us by FaceTime. You are working from home and I see some little ones behind you there. Good morning, Stephanie. Hey, good morning, Robin. Yeah, this is our new reality. I've got two kiddos. They go to two different schools. They're in third grade and preschool. And their teachers, they've been emailing us different websites to set up online classrooms. We're just trying to figure this thing out as much as schools are by working with the schedule, getting the kids set up, and having them learn. Home. It's the new office for millions of Americans that are having to work remotely, and for many, with their kids out of school. They don't, Let's go. Students don't even have to be, they don't even have to go to their own district or their own school. Right now, obviously, this is an emergency situation. We're seeing millions of people to work from home who otherwise aren't used to it, and in many cases, don't want to. So the first thing that we really recommend is for people to keep an open mind. Um, so we want to embrace this and realize that it is part of the common good. But how exactly does someone get their work done with distractions of partners, roommates, or kids? Expert Sarah Sutton of FlexJob suggests we start by sticking to our regular schedules. If you wake up every morning and go for a run and make break shower, make breakfast, have coffee, uh, do something similar to that, and you might have to substitute the run for you know, working out your room or, or what have you, but trying to sit, stick to a schedule is really important. Carve out a space to work. Try to find a place that is comfortable and quiet and where you can focus. Ideally, you can find a place with a door that is incredibly helpful, especially if you have children. Create boundaries. Keep a balance. Yeah. So eat healthy, get outside, breathe fresh air. Try to get some exercise of some sort, stretch, talk to loved ones, stay social. And communication is key with both the office and your family. Okay, tomorrow in the morning, mommy is going to be here and that's going to be different. Daddy's going to be here. We're both going to be working, but you guys are not going to school tomorrow, but we're going to pretend like it's a school day. So you're going to get up, you're going to come down and have breakfast. You'll brush your teeth and put on some clothes, but you don't have to wear what tomorrow? School uniform. Karen Travers of ABC Radio preparing her children all under the age of eight who don't have school for two and a half weeks starting this morning. This is going to be hard. My husband set up a workspace in our guest bedroom and I'm gonna be working in our basement, which is usually where the kids are playing, except I'm gonna set up all of my radio gear there. I'm gonna to have to find somewhere quiet to record for radio or be live on the radio. And I, we don't know how this is gonna work, but we'll figure it out. To help create a schedule, Travers and her husband have set up a 9 a.m. FaceTime call for the kids. We're gonna FaceTime grandma and grandpa in Chicago, and they're gonna read you guys the stories. Former teacher and mom of three, Susie Allison, has more than 800,000 followers on Instagram and a book on the way. She says it's all about keeping kids occupied. Use a roll of painter's tape and a bunch of toys to make your child a toy parade. Kids' activities are a really important tool for parents to access during a time like this when schools are closed. They can use kids' activities as a way to help make sure their kids are still learning, they're engaged, they're active, and they're busy. Working from home can leave little time to prepare, but Allison says use what you have, and the activities can be simple. Cut construction paper in half and write on them. Letters, numbers, shapes, spelling words, add tape to the back, tape it around your house, and send your kids racing to go find them. Find the letter that starts with mmm. Which letter says mmm? Good job. <gasps> Sam, go find the letter that is an eel. Nailed it! And guys, there are a lot of different situations out there. We're lucky my husband already works from home, so this isn't new for him. But being school teachers is. This is our first day, and for now, they're getting along, but we'll have to separate them at some point. Guys. Hey, we hope that continues for the we rest do. of the day, Stephanie. For everyone we else. really do. So do we. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, my, my kids were homeschooled yep. for a few years. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as a parent, it's tough. But you have to be attentive. You just don't put them in a room and say you handle it. You actually have to be there, which I think is a lot stressful for parents trying to balance everything sure. else they have to They're do They're going to well. find that out in the coming weeks. Yes, they will. Oh. But we have tips for you guys on how to keep order and routine with kids at home. Visit goodmorningamerica.com for that. Now we're going